Easy. Mr. McDaniels? 
I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that. This is the end! Ah! Oh, 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 By my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Let's go, boy. Ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there, 
start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. That is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Boy, grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? 
None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I wrote... You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. This way. They put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You wash my back. Wait. Wait, wait a sec. Shush. Hold on. What? Shush. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. First, you know, they're still with us. You should get yourself home. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. You see anything?
bastards are trying to draw us out.
Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ha! Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. We have a new camp set up. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's get, get this boy spreading. back to his mother. Now, stop messing around. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you f***ers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I... Oh. I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
Hey, hey, hey. How about a song? Oh, oh, yeah. Javier, <laughs> play us away. Woo! <laughs> De la sierra morena, cielito, vienen bajando Un par de ojitos negros, el cielito lindo de contrabando De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de One of these days we'll get you singing. <laughs> you don't want to hear that, I promise. Oh, but I do, Herr Strauss. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur... I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am 
ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. <laughs>